Hi there, Coach Sage Candy of SageRunning.com here with a training talk on upper body arm motion for running form. And arm motion is a tricky one because you get the biggest variation between individuals, even super fast elites, uh, some of the top marathon runners in the world are East Africans, super fast guys on the track. Unless you're sprinting and you got the blades out uh, and you're pumping really hard like this, in distance running you see variations with how high the elbows come up. You see runners, very efficient runners, very fast runners with elbows like this. Uh, they're moving pretty fast. You also see people uh, like myself who carry them a bit down lower. And it's going to depend on individual differences. And this is something that's different from lower limb mechanics. Your legs, your foot strike, that is all pretty consistent with good running form. But like I said, the arm swing, the height that you carry your arms will vary. Uh, the general thing is though, you don't want this crisscross motion. If I drew a line straight down, uh, my chest here, my body, you don't want to be going like this, too much side to side, as well as wingy elbows. I have this problem because I have bad flexibility, but uh, you don't want your elbows coming out too much because uh, you might tighten up your shoulders and hunch over and that'll make it harder to breathe, make your form less efficient. So you do want to think front, back, front, back. Again, don't want to be clenching your fists. Uh, you want to think like you're carrying potato chips or carrying uh, crunchy leaves or you know something fragile. Maybe you make the okay sign, uh, just a light, light and relaxed hands. You could even do the blades if you're sprinting at the end of a race. Uh, but the key is really to be nice and relaxed with your arms to be able to flop them around maybe. Uh, but you don't want them totally flopping around like crazy unless you're kicking at the end and you thrash and do whatever you can to run fast. But generally it's a back and forth motion and generally it's going to be around a 90 degree angle but it might change a little bit. And I think the big thing to focus on more is how much you bring your elbow back. So from the side view you want to, you know, it's it's a back motion because that's going to give you Newton's third law forward pr propulsion basically and it's counterbalancing your legs. So again, this does depend on the mass of your arms, it depends on the mass of your legs. Uh, how your mass is distributed throughout your body kind of depends how you carry your arms, what's most efficient at least. But nice and relaxed, you don't want the shoulders to tense up, uh, you don't want the biceps to tense up either. If you got a lot of, you know, curl motion here, you might get sore in your biceps like me, I don't lift very much. so pretty weak arms but uh you know pulling back uh is good you don't want to be all out in front here because you're out in front you're more likely to heel strike uh and you're, you're gonna land with your your elbow where your elbow is you're gonna kind of land where your heel of your foot is gonna be so uh, more on the back swing but you do have to pump your arms and you do want to keep them in a straight line going back and forth uh and like i said some people naturally be carrying their arms very high. They're very efficient like that and they're very fast. Some people, it's better that they carry them pretty low and they're actually maybe brushing your thumb into your hip here. So it's kind of this action. And uh, you just have to experiment with it, see what works well for you. Uh, again, you don't want to be crossing the body though. You don't want to be crossing the, the midline by too much. You could cross it maybe a little. You'll see race pictures of some elites, their hands out maybe right in the middle, but. Uh, it's going to be terribly inefficient to be like this. So it's my talk on arm swing again individual variation not like uh, foot strike and lower limb mechanics below the waist. So thanks so much. Be sure to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Check out the playlist. I got other running form tutorials in the description below as well as link to there. Uh, check out our coaching plans website sagerunning.com. Thanks so much for subscribing guys. Thanks for following along. Uh, thanks to the Patreon supporters and see you next time.